hello everyone on this video i'm going to demonstrate cpu mining on a single board computer which is an okay which is a nice stinker board so okay so this is a nice stinker board which is a uh, quite small which you can buy for 10,000 yen mm, the last time I remember it was 5,000 yen or maybe this is the new model but anyway um, I'm accessing my Tinkerbrot through secure shell SSH and here I am in my Tinkerboard and when I use the command you name in A this is it it is a Linux Tinkerboard with an ARM 7L and so ever and this is the CPU which has a 4 CPU it sets and it's an ARM processor and this is the minimum and max uh, frequency and next up I'm going to try mining on mining pool hub using my Tinkerboard and I'm going to try mining uh, Kryptonite Monero algorithm coins on uh, auto switching port using a CPU miner multi from TPRU TP Rufot GitHub. So I just need to clone the GitHub. First, you need uh, git install if you haven't installed git but now I just need to git clone the multi miner and then just follow the instruction for since I'm using a tinkerbot OS which is a Debian base I just need to do this command but I remember that I did more maybe it's unnecessary but I will do well no need to do to no need to do though because I already did but just to show you as you can see I already did and then go to the multi miner there it is and then compile to compile you can just use dot build ssh or you can compile in any way you want i mean in your own custom way but for now i'll just follow the, the default okay i wonder if i can just wait oh, while waiting for the compilation to finish i'll just show you how to mine on mining pool hub for example mining monero but this time i'll just use the auto switching port And first thing first you log in and then create a worker and then follow this instruction for CPU miner hey um, well you can follow other examples of how to mine which they usually have for example Zcash they have a command like this did it change it change 
okay let's try bitcoin gold okay this one is still the same so the, you can use this command where the server the user the pass the worker the password and the port and maybe you don't need the algorithm but anyway uh, this is the command of how I mine and I'm using Torsox because I want to mine anonymously so Torsox the CPU miner the algorithm is a kryptonite then this is the URL if uh, auto search import this is my worker and that's it okay and it's still compiling okay finally it's done now i just need to put the command torsox and well you don't need to use torsox if you don't need to be anonymous and this command to mine and as you can see it is running for minor threats for cpu okay i'll wait and see we will see the hash rate
Hmm. Okay. So it's failed to resolve. I wonder if Tor is working. It is working. Now let's just restart. And then let's check again. If the if my URL is correct, Monero. Wait. Asia Crypto Night Hoop dot mining dot com. port is 20580 still correct and 17024 I want to use the switching algorithm it is Oh well, I'll see what happens. I see what what really happened later. But for now, let's just use this port, the mo the Monero port. Okay, it's working. It's like this port wasn't working correctly. Okay, what is the crypto night? So it's either Monero or Electronium. Is there a special thing I must do with the port? Well, okay. As you can see, it's working. And it's mining on a 3.58 hash per second. Okay, let's try mining uh, Electronium Just need to change the port If it's, if it's working, okay it's working And it seems the switching port does not work. And there it is, three hashes per second. Oh no, not actually three hashes per second, but each CPU is at three hashes per second. There you go and that's it for this video and thank you for watching.